Okay, happy Monday everyone. So, I asked if you guys were interested and you said yes and I got some really good questions about working with deities. So, um, I'm going to start from one of the first questions that I got and we'll see where these videos go from there. And the first thing I must say is like a disclaimer, but something that I'm very like clear about because in asking these questions I got questions that were I thought were very good questions and other ones that I could tell if I continued in a certain way without making this disclaimer some people would just be okay with listening to me talk about deities and so let's be clear this is about doing the work working with deities finding out this stuff for yourself so anything that I share here is from my perspective but it should mean almost nothing to you in a sense because you should not believe anything I say. You should go and figure out what this stuff is to you. Okay? So that's my disclaimer. Do not believe a word I say. What I say in this sense should not be important to your belief system. You should be focused on knowing. You, you know things when you do the work of wanting to learn what they are. And you learn what they are by having true experience. You create those experiences by what? Working with these deities in different ways. If it's doing ritual, if it's uh, meditating, if it's, um, I don't know, if it's through dream work, something. But it's for you to know, not believe. So this stuff that I talk about here really should be to activate you but it's not to um, add more stories to your life, okay? All right, and this isn't for your, I guess, entertainment, if you will. All right, so what I did was, you know, to kind of stimulate this conversation, I just decided to just have fun and research a whole bunch of deities that I had never even thought of because a lot of the questions that you guys asked kind of made me think about that. So. One question was, how do we know which deities are willing to work with us? And that's really interesting. But I feel like the real question should be, what are you willing to work on within yourself? Because that's what these deities are really about. Now, um, I spent the night uh, just looking all throughout different cultures and and how they have so many deities. You know, you got a deity for the mountain. You got a deity for coral. You got a deity for um, the willow tree. So you have to realize these are embodiments to tell a story of nature. Okay? And nature and learning about nature helps us learn about what ourselves. And we create these stories so that we can relate to them. And in each cultural group, they create stories around what surrounds them. Okay? So if the willow tree is important in Korea, and if the mountain is important in Korea, because, I mean, I live there, so I know you have all these mountains, of course there's probably going to be a deity surrounding those mountains, or about those mountains, or in reference to those mountains. So understanding your history, understanding the history of the culture. So when you're wanting to know what deities um, are willing to work with you. It's what are you willing to work on within yourself? And I'll give you examples about it from my perspective and what's happened with me. I remember um, when deities, deities come to me first off. Um, they always have. So when I was trying to figure out how to do this business, that was when Oya came. How did I know it was Oya? Um, I knew. Just the imagery... Um, just everything was really clear. I had, it was just a knowing, like, oh, that's Oya. Um, when I was thinking about how to eat, because I was trying to figure if I was going to be raw vegan, if I was going to do all raw foods, if I was going to be vegan. Um, I've, I've been vegetarian all this time, but I was trying to figure it all out, how, what, what to eat and how to eat. And I remember that's when I started to hear this, um, name called Annapurna. And I didn't know what Annapurna was. I just remember it was through dream work. And that's where a lot of my stuff happens, through dream work. And so then I wrote it all down. Never heard of it in my life. Looked it up. And it was actually a Hindu goddess known for the harvest and known for food. And so I just started to work with her and help 
figure out my diet and how I want to eat. Okay, um, another example is when I was really working on developing intuition. Um, that was when I started to have dreams of Aset or Isis. Never really cared about Isis or Aset, to be honest. Like, I was never one of those people who was like, oh, yes, Aset. I did not care. But she started to come through very clearly because that's what I was working on. Um, another example, when I was, oh, gosh, when I first got into, I would say when I first started to have visions of things, the first vision of um, any goddess was actually uh, Kali. Kali and then also kind of Kali segment and that kind of goes into another question um they were that kind of energy was coming in and that was uh, at the time once again I actually did not know who Kali was but um the the eyes the tongue you know just the that that anger that aggression all those different things because that's actually what I had to work on at that time you know one thing about me that some people don't know, I have that characteristic, you know, I can, I know how to slash heads off. That's kind of one of my things that I can do. And, um, and it was something that I was working on and bam, she came. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> she came. So that's, that's how it's always worked for me. They just come and it's, and I've never really, uh, asked or, or anything like that, but when you start researching them, you'll find that things become activated. You know, a perfect example of activation, a young lady was watching my video from last week and she shared with me an amazing story in which all of a sudden um, Marie Laveau started to come. She didn't even know who Marie Laveau really was. Um, and then bam, it just started to come to her. So that's what happened. Sometimes it's not just... Um, the deities that we know in in these older, you know, more ancient cultures. Sometimes it's the people that have come here and have made an impact um, in recent times. Because in truth, in many ways, they become deities. Uh, they have that kind of energy. They represent something. And they hold that information because what we do is we give information. We give information to that particular energy and we are then able as people able to tap into it as we need it to grow and become something greater okay so how do you know which deity is willing to work with you they often to from my experience they'll come to you and so you have to ask yourself have you really been paying attention to the signs have you been paying attention to their presence because it's there um, they'll come through colors, they'll come through imagery. You might have a dream where a story is almost exact to the story of that particular deity and you're like, oh wait, um, they find, it's like energetically you will, the, they will find a way, you know what I mean, to let you know who they are. Um, I remember when I was learning about I had another, um, it was through meditation, and I connected to Rasputin. I did not know who Rasputin was at all. And I don't, and the truth is, maybe I heard that name once, but then I found out, oh, he was a healer. And this was when, of course, I was really tapping into what does it mean to heal? What does it mean to, just trying to ask all these questions about healing. And then through that meditation, then um, he came through. And so I've done this through meditation. I've done this. So maybe the next video will be like the different techniques to actually interact and know these deities or energy forms for yourself. Um, I think that might be a great way for the next video. But if you have any other ideas, let me know. But that's how you know who's willing, willing to work with you. It's more about you um, wanting to work on something within yourself. And being open to that assistance because the assistance will come you know I have one lady who was suppressing anger and suppressing um, and kind of feeling uh, and dealing with fear and so she started to tap into almost like a um, 
a gargoyle like energy or or was it raw it was someone but as she connected to the energy and she was very good at communicating she realized that it was about her anger and that this kind of uh entity kind of came in in the form of protection it was amazing so this so these deities are always there um, because we're connected to it ancestrally. So you might as well tap in and learn and grow. Okay, so that is that first question. How do we know which deities are willing to work with us? So I hope that answered your question. It's really, to me, what are you willing to work on within yourself? It's really that simple. All right, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. And I want you guys to check out a website, um, glitternight.com. Glitter, G-L-I-T-T-R-N-I-G-H-T.com. Glitternight.com. I ran across it just playing around, learning about a whole bunch of deities. And it is just great. You just want, If you want to just see so many different kinds of deities, um, he has... Uh, blog post on like Korean deities, Hawaiian deities, um, Choctaw Indian deities. He just has so much information and I'm waiting for his source list or trying to find a way to get his source list to actually get the books where he's getting all this information from. But it's a great um, thing to look at to kind of get you activated. You know, and that's what you should be looking for, things to activate you to tap into kind of that greater understanding of these things. Okay, I hope that's enough information for you. Um, gosh, I wrote all these notes. <laughs> you probably can't tell. I wrote all these notes and I didn't mention any of them but because I was studying the Korean deities. But I think I've answered it, uh, your question. All right, next week and we'll go to the next one. So, all right, bye-bye.